Hello and welcome back to this series where I'm basically just playing every single Age of Empires 2 campaign uh, with original voices, uh, sounds and sound effects. Um, sorry, one sec, my headphones are weeding me out. There we go. Um, I am currently on Genghis Khan number 6, which I'm not sure is the final one or not, but um, we're playing all these on hard mode, so... Um, the last scenario in these campaigns tends to be one of the hardest, so hopefully this isn't our last one, but we'll see. Only one enemy stands in our way. France and the nations beyond are beaten from decades of crusades. If we break Eastern Europe, then it is likely that all of Western Europe will surrender. But to break the East, we must defeat Hungary. Hungary possesses the most formidable cavalry in all of Europe. They have not only the strength of European armor, but their horses are cousins to our own, having drifted in from across the Russian steppes. The Sazo River that separates us from the army of Hungary is frozen, so we will be unable to deploy boats. Instead, the battle will be won or lost over who controls the bridge. Subotai is coming with reinforcements. If we can survive the charge of Hungarian Subutai knights until Subotai arrives, then we can hope to take the bridge. Much rests on this simple bridge. If we capture the Sajo crossing, we capture Hungary. If Hungary falls, so falls Europe. With Europe and Asia under Mongolian command, our conquest of the world will be complete and final. <laughs> we shall take Europe. Right. Let's do this. So, destroy all Hungarian town centers and castles. Survive until sabotage. Reinforcements arrive. Restricted to 125. Genghis Khan, by the way, if you haven't been following this one, <laughs> is long dead. Use the saboteurs wisely. Train anymore. Oh, I've got saboteurs, eh? Oh, it's telling me to flatten forest. And it's impossible to build ships due to the ice. Okay. Okay, cool. Let's do this. Lord Ogatai, we must hold off the Hungarians until Subotai arrives. He will be here in 40 minutes. Just get us close enough to an enemy building, and we will give our lives for the cause. He moves with these boys here. They are powerful. I know this from Timo. old school campaigns. Old school scenarios from scenario editor. Right, so I'm just gonna hold hold up. I'm gonna be speeding back. Maybe step on the side. Tachern, <laughs> 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 Sakharimo, 
Didn't he make it? But the chung. But the chung. I don't know if that's going to take him. Hopefully it will. What is this? Oh. Weird map copied buildings and stuff I've never seen before. Didn't buy an armor in the door. He marchings. Taker, marching. Empty the jacket. Timo. We found absolutely. Amor Lindo. Taker. Parlachung. Parlachung. Beating Zute. Be both for your daughter. Zute. Parlachung. Parlachung. Timo. I see what I'm doing, but I think I'm doing it. Beating by Amor Lindo. Taker. Mosting. And he's just hold this bridge for now. Timo, Bata, Bartachung, 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 we can make the Buy a 
So far, nothing too disastrous. We build a TC here and here. Sakhir, Baril the Amr Mindu, Baril the Amr Mindu, Baril the Chung. We're just going back. Sakhir, I both boy. Timu, 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 Beaten by Amor Mindu, I've never played these before. Um, I always played like the first campaign or the first scenario in the campaign. Then I'd always get bored. Should be here in 20 Need minutes. Team more catching. Need him, mate. Need him. This is proving so far very easily, but I am 
hesitant to say that. So it's too easy because we have been four hours so past. I'm not aware of him, yeah. Alright, we're gonna go and get skirmishes. There are limited what was no? I wouldn't be able to stay below there, mate. You can't fight there, mate. Second <laughs> Chemistry and all sorts. Where is it? I'm not aware of all the boy. And we don't have any land over, and we need to be. I'm not aware of the farm needs to be set up. Keep boy. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it
most are needed for more castles for more Mangadai. I'm just gonna, <laughs> gonna brute force this with Mangadai. <laughs> Remind me I can cut through shit, but... I should be here in 10 minutes. He better not be late. So this is what happens when you don't use a fucking unit composition. Am I out of gold? 
I think that was the final campaign because I just got the achievement, the final scenario. Let's watch the uh, outro and then I'm just going to return to the map and have a look. Nothing stands between us and the Atlantic Ocean. The Mongol Empire comprises two whole continents. Europe and Asia belong to the hordes. Every place we entered has changed forever with our passing. Russia, once filled with quarreling city-states much like ancient Mongolia, will forever be melded into a single gigantic nation. Genghis Khan forged the largest empire ever created in the life of one man. His body was carried back to the river Onan, where the legendary blue wolf and fallow doe once lived. He was buried in the ground and a thousand horsemen rode over the site to disguise it. Genghis Khan's final resting place was devoured by the steppes. My people cherish the legend that their great ruler will one day return to lead his horsemen to another... Bloody victory. Ah, oh, so I completed my favourite campaign. 20 something years oh there's a freaking passage there's a passage you can <laughs> the only place I didn't really explore I think oh that makes sense That's why it was on about destroying trees with manganel. 
So, in the event you don't have enough over the water when the, the bridge goes boom, the backup is here. This little section. I see. Oh well, we uh, we had enough just to. In the end, that was very easy. I'm sure we'll come across a lot harder scenarios than that. But no, I enjoyed that. No, never got to utilise these towers or anything like that. It's a shame that the AI didn't throw more at us, really. Um, but no, that's quite a poignant ending for me, that is. Um, this one, because I mean, I always remembered this, the first scenario from Genghis Khan when I was a kid. Um, sort of like burned into my brain um, and then I never really used to play after the first scenario I was used to get I wasn't very good at using villages when I was a kid so obviously if, unless it was like a fixed force I would always just stop I would get bored basically and stop playing um, so I'm kind of glad after over 20 years I've finally come back um, to get that little message about the fallow dough. <laughs> uh, it's kind of a poignant I'm glad I've finished this one. Um, and on to the next one, I guess. I think the, I don't know if I'm into the Conqueror's campaigns yet. I think there might be one more agent. I think Barbarossa, possibly. Well, haven't I already done that? I can't remember now. But, um, yeah, I'm glad that's over. Finally completed Genghis Khan after 20 years. It's funny. Right. Thank you for watching. Hungary, obviously, they changed their sieve, didn't they? To the Bohemians? Wait, yeah. Wait, what's the sieve? Thank you, oh, sorry. Yeah. Cool little destroyed buildings over here. I'm not sure how much of this was. I kind of want to. I kind of want to go back and um, play the original game now. I can't believe all of this was in the original game. I never, never saw it. Never got to it. <sighs> right. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.